Hello, good morning, welcome back to another vlog real vlog. It is Wednesday, it's a work day, I'm going in the office, um, but I'm a little bit more dressed up because today at lunchtime, me and Karen are gonna film some fun stuff for Smoker Matches summer collection. I was gonna go to Starbucks on the way to drop in my loft and then I missed the turn in and then I thought, actually Dunkin' Donuts just fits the whole vibe because our theme is green, orange and pink. In case you missed the previous vlogs, this is the car I'm today. This is a car that Lee got um, as his curtsy car when his car went in for repair. Um, and the, I mean, the whole thing was so weird. I mentioned this in a previous vlog, so apologies if you've heard me t tell you this story before. But um, I wanted to do some like, just some like crazy, stupidly over the top content for the summer collection since candle season is not really summer and we just wanted to make a thing of it. And um, we were talking about doing like kind of somewhere between Palm Beach and Palm Springs retro 60s vibes. The, that was our color palette. That was kind of like the inspiration for the whole thing. It's going to be like cocktail slash mocktail themed. The scents are, in my opinion, perfect. Um, and one of the things that I had on my list of like, we could do this, but this is crazy, was to rent a convertible for the day. And then, never mention this to Lee, and then Lee was given a lime green convertible as his courtesy car, which makes no sense. Stick your head out this way a bit so it can see your face. We've been to park and ride. It's raining now. Karen said this is a bucket list thing. I think she's probably right. Driving around Doncaster in a convertible in the sunshine while it rains. It's probably a bucket list thing. It is several hours later. Karen and I had a lot of fun at lunchtime. Do you know what? It's been so rainy since. In fact, my mum messaged me about 10 minutes after we got back to the office and asked if it was hailing where I was because it was hailing where she was, which is not that far away. I feel like she must be in her own little ecosystem in there, in their little area of town. Um, because it was gloriously sunny, super windy. I had my phone on a tripod and this camera, which is now scoffed up, which is just so on brand for me. It's less than a week old. It's fine, it's still perfectly functional. Um, and the lens is fine. It's just, you know, and it is an action camera. So in theory, it's kind of made to, to be a bit rough and ready, but still less than a week old. She can't look after her things. Um, the wind just kept knocking the tripods over. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. We got some really funny um, little clips of video to use for reels and stuff. Um, I'm really excited about it. I just think we should be able to have fun with this. This is, we already have actual day jobs. And so if we're gonna put so much like of our time and energy and just like the mind the mind, it's like such a mental thing. There's just always, I mean, we never talk about anything else really, apart from this. Um, but if we're gonna put so much of ourselves into this, it, it had better be fun. And today was definitely fun. And I'm kind of getting a getting a vibe of, of what we're gonna do moving forward for the summer stuff. I already can't wait for autumn and winter and stuff, but, but the summer is coming and we're gonna enjoy it. Uh, anyway, I'm hanging out outside school now, waiting to pick up Milo. I'm going to go and take him to boxing. Then I'm going to have my nails done. Haven't done, had my nails done since last August because my hands are just like, they just get destroyed now with all of the um, pots and stuff. But I made so many recently and I did a ton of gardening. We did a lot of like DIY stuff, put together the table and the bench. I think I can go a couple of weeks without. So I'm having my nails done haven't seen my nail tech since August so much to catch up on um and yeah that's when I see you next I may well have possibly relevant to the the candle colors new nails okay I'm home nails are done which I'll show you properly tomorrow they're actually um color changing with heat and I just got out of the bath so they're pink right now but they'll be like vivid orange when I show you them and I'm normal cold um, I've just taken a melatonin because my sleep has been horrible recently. This is like a, I want to say hydrocola. Did I mention this? Did I tell you about this? I can't even remember. I got Lee to get me some plasters from Tesco. Um, hydrocoloid, maybe, uh, is what spot patches are made of. And I thought, well, I'm going to try cheap hydrocoloid patches that's supposed to heal fast because I've got this kind of like cystic 
situation going on here. Uh, and I'm going to leave that on overnight and see how it goes. Um, but I've decided to roll this vlog into tomorrow because tomorrow I'm working late. I don't want to have to edit a vlog at like whatever, like 10 o'clock and I want to finish with it. I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to do a two in one just this one time. I, I was going to skip an entire day and I didn't. So I'm going to do a two in one. I don't think you care. I don't think you care. But I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to be so well rested. This morning, I look like Cynthia from Rugrats. My hair's just sticking out all over the place. I've just kind of twisted it and pinned it all back so it's out of my face. So I have been candling. Really, that's all I've been doing today. This, these are just so cute. They're just so cute. I think, I don't, it's a real toss up though. I think I prefer these ones. These kind of look like little speakers. I'll show you some. See, so show you some I made earlier. Look how cute it is. Look how cute it is. These ones smell like peanut oil. Um, anyway, that's what I've been doing. Product photography, added something to the website. It's taken hours, honestly. And it feels like such a small job. This is what we were talking about earlier in the week. It, it becomes like, oh, I've just got these couple of things to do. And then like four hours later, you wonder why there's only one thing that you've got done. Um, it's 12, I start work at two. I want some food. Tempted to order a takeaway, not going to. Going to have the super noodle instead. Um, and then I'm gonna get myself ready. I seriously thought I'd be like, I'll do a couple of hours and then I'll go and get dressed and get ready and stuff and get ready for the day. And it's been, more than a couple of hours. Someone just messaged me. I can't get over what I look like. The irony of what I'm about to say. Someone just messaged me um, on Instagram and said, happy YouTube anniversary. And I was like, oh. So 14 years ago today, I started my beauty channel on YouTube. I know what you're thinking. What happened? I can't tell you. I just have to show you what Manny's done. He seems to have managed to make a wall. So he's got like a, a hiding place where he can sit on the sofa, but behind a wall. So hilariously, after what I said yesterday about not wanting to, also the, the head thing, we were talking about this in a previous vlog in the comments, that this gets a bit much. I think I must be able to change settings so that it's a little bit softer like a more gentle movement because i am very erratic i move my head around a lot and so this could get annoying but yeah i'm gonna see what i can do about this situation but what i was gonna say was after what i'd said yesterday about not wanting to edit after finishing work late it's quarter past 10 and i haven't yet to edit this vlog i just things took longer than expected and I made more candles than expected um and we released a whole new product today the diffuser which was like we were saying it's impossible to tell what is going to do really really well we thought that the zodiac melt box was going to be like fly off the shelves and we didn't have as much uptake on that as we'd anticipated like we made way more than we needed for the initial launch which is fine because it's like a an evergreen product um but then the diffusers we've made a real small batch and we've nearly sold out in a few hours so i don't know i don't know impossible to tell but yeah it's just it was really really busy before i logged on for work and now it's the end of the day and i am actually i could have had two vlogs we could have had two vlogs but hey let's smash them together um right now i'm doing a little bit of um warning label stuff that we need for the summer collection i'm so excited about that i know it's been very candle heavy this week but it's been a lot of what I've been spending my time on so um I feel like we're kind of coming drawing to the to the close of that for this week tomorrow after work because I'm working in the office tomorrow I need to um clear some things up because I'm on Chris are coming this weekend which is really exciting but I need to kind of clear all of that space in case it rains the plan is to be outside but in case it rains we need to be inside we're going to do a murder mystery dinner party which Milo is really excited about. He's got a character. He's like preparing his role. He says he needs new clothes. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. I've only done a murder mystery dinner party once before, 
um, I think it was my early 20s, it was for my birthday, it could have been like 22, 23, um, and it was really fun. Also my chair is vibrating, if my, if my voice sounds weird, that's why. Um, yeah, anyway. Oh, I did put some makeup on and do my hair after we last spoke, uh, which does help. It does. It lifts the mood. Um, but I'm going to take it off soon and go to sleep. As soon as this is done and this is done, and then we'll start all over again tomorrow. I'll see you then. <laughs>